Welcome to the Young Decent Podcast. I'm your boy, Young Decent. I just want to welcome everybody. The um, This is the introduction and the first episode of the Young Decent Podcast. So we're talking about a heart of a hustler. We're not talking about drug selling. We're not talking about slanging and banging. We're talking about a heart of a hustler and what does that really mean you know so we're going to get into that a little bit later so sometimes you'll see me behind the camera sometimes you'll see me in front of the camera sometimes i'll be on the microphone whatever um i'm an artist and we just do whatever we have to do so we're talking about a heart of a hustler this is something where I feel like I have a lot to talk about and I've been fighting this for a long time but it feels like it's that time for me to just basically step up to the plate and just do what I know what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. So the first thing I want to talk about today is sports (laughs) and that's crazy right because you're like what heart of a hustler? Sports! We're going to talk about some NBA news. We're going to talk about Kyrie Irving going to the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Now, I have a little bit, you know, of an issue when someone affects someone else's life in such a dramatic way. So I think um, my opinion is that he affected a lot of people. And I'm not really sure if he was conscious of the way he's affecting a lot of people by requesting the trade. But he's a great player, phenomenal player. We're not going to stay on that very long. And I wish him well, but it seems like we need to hear both sides of the story. One person is saying this, one is saying this. But we want the truth, okay? What's going on? We want the truth. All right. But anyway... LeBron James breaks the record for the most points in NBA history. This is crazy. But I have some sad news. I'm watching a game. It's a late game. And I said, all right, I'm just going to lay my head down for two seconds. When I wake up, I see a big old celebration. I missed it. I missed the shot. But luckily, they replayed it right after um, <laughs> right after I woke up. They replayed it. I got a chance to see it again. But I was like, how in the world did I fall asleep on this moment? Life happens, guys. Get your sleep. <laughs> get your sleep. All right. So let's get into it. The heart of a hustler. A heart of a hustler. And by the way, today is the first show. Young Decent Podcast. I'm not going to be all day. We're going to be in and out. I'm going to let you know the format of this. I hope to have some special guests, some people to come on and give some insight. We're going to have different topics. We're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about faith. We're going to talk about the music business. We're going to talk about film. We're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. So definitely write me, engage with me, talk to me, keep it positive. If you got a lot of negative things to say, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. But anyway, the heart of a hustler. When I think about the heart of a hustler, I'm thinking about people that do what they got to do. We can think of the Chiro lady, the fruit lady, the people that be on the on the train selling the fruit snacks. The hot dog man. You know, one day I'm in the car with my brother. And I'm in the car. I'm relaxed. I'm laid back and I'm chilling. I'm like this. And all of a sudden, I see a man pushing his ice cream cart up the road. I mean, he's struggling. He's ice cream. You know those little ices where you sell them for probably like a dollar? He's doing that. And I'm thinking, 
all of the people that's in the local music business in my community, the artists, the filmmakers, how come we don't sometimes do those necessary things? Meaning, the hustle. We're not talking about drugs. We're not talking about scheming. I'm talking about the heart of a hustler. I'm talking about if it's raining, not saying I'm going to be in the house, but just seeing that as an opportunity that I'm going outside to sell an umbrella. Or I'm going outside to push my cookies, my, my baking business, my book business, my TV business, whatever it is. The heart of a hustler. My dad, he's had that. He has that. And for so long, I said, I, I, I said, I don't have that. I didn't think I had that in me. But as I started to move forward, I, I, I was put in some uncomfortable positions that really sort of like made me say, okay, I'm, I'm a little bit privileged. So many times we will not go out there and hand out a, fly, a flyer for ourselves. We want someone else to do that for us. But we gotta go out there and make, we gotta go out there and do the necessary steps. The heart of a hustler. Not take the easy way out. You got people on the subway train that uh, sell their CDs and they're not really good artists. They're just out there trying to hustle people. Heart of a hustler, but that's the wrong hustle. But the people that have the real talent, you won't see them out there. So that's why those guys, they can sell their CDs and thug people for a buck or two. They're out there. Where are the true artists? The heart of a hustler. The icy lady, the churro lady, the DVD man, the, the, those people that are out there. And you always see those people. Let us, the, the artists, the creatives, whoever you are, we are the ones that have to now take our rightful place. The heart of a hustler. I think sometimes we need to operate with a little more urgency. I think we need to operate with a little more desperation. See, we can't be so privileged where we can't hand out a flyer ourselves. Every day we ride the, the, the subways or public transportation, even if you have your own car, God bless you, right? But we're passing millions of people every day. How often do we say, hey, uh, I have a business to a stranger, we, we keep that. So a lot of times as creative people, we miss marketing. So I'm gonna talk about that uh, next time. I'm gonna talk about marketing next time, but that's, that's the end of the show. I got a little bit, the end of the podcast, I got a little bit passionate. I'm, I have to apologize, I started to get passionate. So I'm figuring this thing out. I'm figuring it out. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm here doing the podcast. I'm here talking about stuff that's been on my mind to you, and I know that you wanna engage with me. So hit the like button, subscribe, and tell somebody about the Young Decent Podcast. I have a new album coming out called Reboot. It's about starting over. Everybody needs a reboot. Everybody needs a chance to refresh and start over. I will be bringing that to you soon. So thank you all for watching and, and those who have been supporting me over the years. Thank you so much. I love you all. And um, the heart of a hustler, we all have it. We all have the grit. You have to tap into it. So just tap into it. And listen, God bless everybody. Thank you for watching. Be well. Till next time, Heart of a Hustler, Young Decent Podcast. Um, thank you.